Hi everyone, welcome to the Matrix Oracle. My name is Audrey. I am your host for this pick a card reading, a message from time. All right, we're going to first look at the three cards. So what three options we're going to get and do the piles together. Very interesting uh, energy that I'm feeling. I, it's the first time that time <laughs> seems to want to reach uh, out. One, two. Actually, there's going to be four piles, you guys. And they're there, so I'm not going to ignore that fourth pile. So pile number one is going to be the six of wands or six of fire. Pile number two, the nine of water, the nine of cups. Pile number three, we have the six of earth, six of pentacles. Okay, let's see. And then we'll have, last but not least, the queen of fire. Number 13, the Queen of Wands. Okay, so four piles. Let's do it together. Where we're going to bring some energy cards on them. And then I like to pull tarot cards. Interesting, they all come by four. Well, there is a third one here. Four come by four. Interesting. Did you see? This one has an extra one. Okay. All right. And we're going to shuffle those here. Again, you can go into the timestamps below in the description box and just, well, two cards here. And just jump to your pile if that's something you want. Okay, so we have it. Choose pile number one, which is here. The six of fire. Six of wands, usually speaking of a certain victory. Let's see what message time has for you. I think right away with... The word victory, there's something here about something you've been wanting to achieve that time wants to elaborate on. And the, this gesture reminds me of the regular tarot deck, which is the position almost of the fingers for the higher fun, almost. But there's, there's some type of commitment, victory, something that time, time knows you've been wanting to manifest, okay? Wow, purpose. My dreams connect me to my purpose. Wow, that's, okay, that's, like, that's a serious message. <laughs> no, like, I'm sorry, pile number one, you're going to flip. I, I just, I created this reel a few weeks ago, months ago, um, about flipping the switch as far as frequency. And that's the, the song that I heard for you. I just flipped the switch. There's something here that time wants you to flip around. Maybe there's something about duality so you can get to your victory. This is something, this is something, some of you, you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. It's a goal. Maybe it's just the embodiment of your purpose, uh, overcoming certain things from the past. So time is a factor here. Oh yeah, look at this, all tied up. There's something from the past that seems that time wants to speak to you about regarding maybe even the purpose of that entanglement oh wow the magician and the mirror 
some type of communication with spirit or soul. I would say this would be even more predominant if you have any placement in Sagittarius. Just because of the number 50, I just feel it here, okay? But it does, don't have to, but some of you, you needed to hear this. There's something about, about working with alchemy that time wants to communicate with you. Okay. So right off the bat, I feel if you chose this pile number one, okay? There's a dream, there's a goal that you've set up in time, okay? That you've set up for yourself. It's something dear to you, you would know what, what it is. And it could be just, even the purpose of just being happy, okay? Some of you, if you walked, you know, a certain path that was heavy, that was dark, it, it's just... It doesn't have to be like a material goal, but it's like a direction you want. It could be just the purpose. Um, and time is saying that some things from the past that made you feel tied up were part of sparking in you this magic, okay? It's almost like being like pushed against the wall. It's like... I don't know if some of you, I don't know why I'm going to mention this example, but I feel it. If you've ever taken uh, self-defense classes, you know, you could be put yourself like a teacher would put yourself in a situation where you're in a like limited room or just like backed up to a corner and you have to learn and you're being taught like what are the moves that help you escape this energy. But here, what I feel is that it doesn't have, it's not a physical application, even though some of you, maybe there is a physical application. That means you've gone through uh, feeling powerless in certain situation, maybe in the physical realm and having to learn how to defend yourself, stand up for yourself. But it's more in terms also of energy, moving energy, how maybe some of you, you're, I'm going to say it because I'm hearing it, the, a quantum healer, and you're working with time. You're working with certain timelines, and you're working to transcend duality. And I would say, obviously, you're going to start with those teachings and mastery for yourself. But it's something that when you learn this power for yourself, when you learn this mastery for yourself, you're going to be able to create a new create from a place of inner strength inner power and i feel that without this entanglement that you experience that could you know we all choose different purposes and different experiences to master this was something that was specific and some of you maybe if you were um fallen into a way of thinking that was more victim mentality, meaning like, why is it happening to me? Why this is always happening to me? I want this reading and time wants you to hear this, to feel empowered by the story of what you had to overcome. Because there's a healer inside of you that works not only just with alchemy. Some of you are weavers, um, weaving time, weaving timelines, uh, able to even quantum leap from, you know, being powerless to a place that is powerful, but obviously, you know, in greater positive aspect, I'm not saying, you know, out of anger or frustration, there's this because of this part, there's a learning of the alchemy. I'm loving this. With the laurel, I do feel because laurels, if you burn or you write wishes on the laurel, laurel uh, tea leaf or leaf, um, they're used in magic for victory, for abundance, for overcoming some of you or even just manifesting. Some of you, if you like to work with little rituals, I would say work with laurel leaves. Maybe, let me see if I get more instructions about this. But I saw maybe some of you writing a wish on it. 
and okay I'm, I'm getting it um, writing a wish on the laurel leaf and putting a jar of water and letting it charge you can charge it with your energy you can charge it with you know running this wish into the water and drink it okay don't ask me where it came from it's just it's there <laughs> Some of you, you like to work with magic, and I wouldn't be surprised with this energy. Okay, what does time want to add? Okay, time, time after time. Okay, there might have been a lot of repetition. So some of you, um, you may have had to rehearse a lot of the entanglement pattern uh, again and again. I saw the Seven of Cups. Some of you, you may even have fallen into traps of addiction okay substance uh, but there is especially remember so i pick specific tarot decks and even though there's a theme message seven of cups also speaks of time this is actually my timeline cards um, in many decks, you see seven cups and you see there, this is about choices. What will you choose? And I feel that you might have tried to choose different ways, you know, to navigate your life that led you to still repeat the same patterns. But it was purposeful. Everything that you've learned, I wouldn't be surprised, some of you, if you're watching this, that maybe you had a lot of um, death and rebirth. That means that maybe you had a lot of loss, had to move a lot, change jobs a lot, or had to adapt a lot, different people, different schools. Diff it feels like to become almost like a master of time here. Some of you here, if you pick pile number one, there's something about learning uh, quantum healing, understanding the concept of time in terms of obviously not being linear. And I would say some of you, um, even like watching movies that are around this topic could be activating. I have, a, I have one that I recently watched, um, 112263 that I could recommend that is out there. I have 222, that is a good one also. And I think one is called also Parallel, just Parallel. Okay, so the ones that like movie homeworks. <laughs> seven of Pentacles, look at this. You have to re, ooh, double seven. Okay, now that you watch this and you're allowing this energy and time to teach you, time is also showing you when it when you'll start seeing double sevens or triple sevens, okay, repetition of sevens. You're working with time. You're working with timelines, okay. Maybe there's something you have to pay attention not to repeat. Sevens are about introspection. They're also about luck. So it's almost like creating your luck, but by having a certain awareness. The Knight of Pentacles. See, here, I, I thought it was like, pay attention maybe to slow down. I, I, I saw almost like the Matrix movie here. Um, with, you know, like when everything goes in slow motion, because there's just a different vibration it's almost like everything starts moving slow because you're in a certain brain waves that allows you to pick up on subtle shifts of energy and i feel that some of you like really i, I did not know what to expect time showing up in my picker card um but this is definitely a message from time that's saying that there's there's a purpose for the life that you've lived. And there's a purpose for you to have the dreams that you have and the goals that you have. And also through those goals, some of them, they actually were birthed through some of your difficulties, some of your traumas, some of your dark moments, depression, or even again, with addiction, substance abuse. 
because there is here with a lot of signs that show me duality a little bit there was you're here with a purpose of learning to alchemize almost like learning how to alchemize time becoming um, a time weaver some of you if you never heard the term this is very mystical uh I would say in that case, if you've never watched, I mean, what is this thing? I forgot. There's something, I think Amazon Prime had it. Um, the Discovery of the Witches. This is about witches and vampires, okay? But there's something that she's working on. Oh, wow. The Book of Knowledge. And, oh, I'm sorry, it's just like, it's it just, I had just some type of deja vu that happened. Okay, definitely some of you, uh, maybe watch this series again. Um, you're becoming a quantum healer, a time weaver, and you're right now being called to pay attention to especially the number sevens. And to kind of slow down when they show up as you're working with certain portals and gateways. Okay, let's see if we have anything else that wants to come up. I do feel we want to work with this one now. Mm. There might be someone coming your way as well. Maybe a teacher. I don't know why I'm saying all those things. <laughs> Okay, very interesting. We have very interesting things here. I love this for you. Um, the Four of Air in this deck, the Dreams of Gaia. This is my card, my personal card. And you see here it is time. And there's certain patterns for body engineering. What is body engineering? Uh, this is something that I... Um, describe a little bit when I post my music frequencies. Sometimes I suggest to you certain mudra and certain frequencies in my readings and chanting. So it's, like it's putting into motion a sacred way of working energy that almost like helps you space travel. Okay, yeah, I, I, I know my, my, my peeps. <laughs> Are on the same wavelength, um, but definitely here, there's some teaching, okay? And we're going to work with the frequencies because if it, it, it showed up and I have my little deck here for the frequencies. So there is a call for you to work certain elements of your own magic. So for me, it's mantra with music, with sound engineer, so specific frequency patterns okay and mudra i always use the three of them sometimes you know i interrupt the chanting sometimes the hands are more relaxed um but there's some combination here and that could be useful for you now with the five of earth five of wands um yeah fire is that fire yes no that's not fire that's earth what am i saying Five of Pentacles. It's just all this red made me made me feel fire, and this feels this feels in this deck. This is about paying attention not to take the shortcut, not to take the short road, and especially with the Knight of Pentacles. I feel that your time is saying. Honor the sacred teachings that you're going through, okay? There's, there's some of you, you're literally being taught how to do this type of work, um, how to be activated. This is really my, my jam. If some of you know me personally or have worked with me, I love working with this type of knowledge. Um, so you're in the right place. If that's something that interests you, definitely stick around on the page. Even contact me if you're new. Um, but let's see what we have at, as far as frequencies. You're, <laughs> you're becoming a time weaver. 
weaving new timelines for yourself, for the collective, and some of your difficult path, the difficult timelines. I don't know why this, this one that was come up. Okay. Oh, great. Releasing emotional congestion, distress, and numbness. Okay. I feel as some of you, especially if you had um, any substance, you know, abuse, addictions, or any trauma, uh, you had to almost like become immune to feeling the intensity or you just had an escapism mechanism so this is part of the quantum fascia healing playlist i'm gonna add it here sometimes i forget quantum you see working with quantum ha! quantum fascia wow well, my healing well, i can't remember which order <laughs> you get it and we have, for my dear ones that have access to the YouTube music membership, okay, the level up, inner wisdom activation. I love this because this is a mantra that I use in certain frequencies that help you tap into um, almost like your higher self, a divine, like sacred, wise version of yourself. So that's what I would say as far as frequencies let me see if there's anything else might be any something else yeah here fearlessness i love this some of you you have to remove some of the fears from the past i pay close attention to my heart and my mind i do not allow fear to distract me that is so interesting. I am going to be releasing um, part of my vibrational pharmacy and anxiety frequency. Okay, so some of you, if you can look into the pharmacy playlist, you'll find anxiety. You'll also find anger and irritability. Maybe that's for some of you. Maybe that's the way you dealt with some of the... Um, um, the hardship and also sometimes you could go back and forth into one or the other so those will be part of the pharmacy and if it's not just yet when you're watching this bear with me <laughs> I'm engineering all of this okay that's what I have for you pile number one that is so exciting see you soon so if you need personal guidance you can look into the description box I've upgraded all my services so thank you for being part of my journey supporting me for having more time for all of this and supporting you in return um, with the frequencies the readings so on and so forth if you like this video please make sure you like it comment if anything just popped out that you wanted to share i love creating a community and uh, exchanging with you thank you so very much Namaste. hi number two a message from time for you <laughs> i don't know why i'm starting this way but okay maybe this is something about your heart with the nine of cups the nine of water something that is dear to your heart something that you've prayed for maybe some of you it is a relationship i love this card i find it's just mesmerizing Mm, maybe I don't know why but when I said this I felt your energy being uh, very connected to the water so some of you you have a lot of water placement I felt mermaid energy I felt very in flow okay trust and energy let's read this together trust I believe that whatever is happening to me right now is part of the greater plan Mm. and energy i work with my dreams and my spirit's energy to reach my highest good okay so let's pull the other cards i'm, I'm getting some some energy and, and and theme for you but i'm gonna be patient i don't know why maybe it's relevant also being patient here Ooh, blossoming abundance Okay, interesting. If 
financial constraint. There's some door here. Maybe we have to close a door. Maybe something we have to leave behind. And the angel of strength. Wow. Okay. I, I'm feeling... We talked about water energy and the line just shines very strongly. Now, I, I don't know why I'm going to say what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> um, there's something about summertime. There's something about the Leo season. Maybe also a full moon, a new moon, a person. Maybe with a Leo or a fire sign because of water and fire. Some type of opposition okay that i'm feeling here or some type of event some type of awakening maybe some of you what time is showing me is that there was a specific event maybe a summer doesn't have to be but it could be around something that has to do with a fire sign it could be a cycle of the moon it could be some of you watching this having this in your chart Number 50 in the angles of the zodiac is in the sign of Sagittarius. So again, what I'm channeling has a lot. I'm receiving a lot of messages. And I feel it's if you pick pile number two, time is saying that you've been under and probably in the summertime under a lot of activation to work through certain constraints, certain timelines, certain doors that you left open. Now I would say that some of you, if you're in between or your relationship status is complicated, there's something about leaving things half open, a door half open, that time is saying, hey, we need to look into this we need to look into this because it's almost like it's maybe leeching or maybe making a path of your wish fulfilled because the nine of cups is also a wish fulfillment and you leaving maybe a door open to certain people certain even romantic partners certain lovers um or even certain opportunities or i would say for some of you even like contacts in your phone book like like almost like I don't know why but I'm hearing like why why like why are they still there okay that's not gonna be for everyone but some of you check out your phones <laughs> there's something and we're gonna pull tarot cards okay that I'm seeing that it says time wants to say it has heard you it has heard your wishes and it wants to fulfill it but it's saying hey we have some open half open doors here that you have to face and have the strength to maybe especially here displacement is sagittarius in the angles of the zodiac is about your eloquence is about the power of your words and i feel as some of you you need to have the power and the empowerment to close those doors because it seems that it's a drain the way that I'm can you feel it now so we're gonna work with energy love it love it <laughs> all right what time okay I feel like I want to ask what is this half open door time okay time <laughs> dear master of time <laughs> Okay, well, as soon as I said master of time, this was not, I felt like almost like the tone just being, becoming like very like serious. Let's get down to business almost. Mm. I'm hearing the song, let's get down, let's get down to business. Like one more time, one to, time to catch this. It's been a myth. There's something about like, this is something you know should be closed. And it, time is saying, okay, no more. <laughs> no more. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles and it came reverse, but I flipped it around. 
But I would say like this would be some type of offer. There's there's some type of offer. Um, I'll say it because I feel it. Some of you, if it's about love, or it's almost, almost like leaving too many doors open, multi-dating or leaving like open places for people that you know, eh, just to fill, fill up time. Time doesn't like it. <laughs> it just doesn't like it. I really felt the, the shift when I said master of time. It just got very serious. It's almost like, do you really want what you want? Pile number two. Okay. Then the knight of swords. There's some truth. There may be some things that you're not wanting to face or acknowledge about situation. But as much as this, it was reversed and we're putting it upright. It's, it's showing you like as soon as you start speaking up about your desires, speaking out about your truth, also speaking up from a place of your true authentic self, you will see the people that don't resonate with that. Like if I'm going to give a silly example, okay? For me, I had a one, <laughs> my rule number one of relationship was we say good morning and we say good night. Because I knew that even like if I just start dating you, like when we live together, I expect to obviously sleep in the same bed and say, hey, good morning, and then go to bed and say good night. And I'm like, what is the difference whether I live with you or not? And I didn't care if people are like, well, I'm busy. You know, like that was a rule. And for me, like that was something that was silly to others. But to my sensitivity and to the way that I invest my energy in relationships, that was a requirement. And when it was not met, that doesn't mean that I didn't leave. <laughs> there was open like that, believe me, you know. Uh, but I wanted to illustrate this because this is what it's reminding me. And it's saying you have something that is blossoming. It's almost like you have like, you're at almost like a fork where this is birthed for you, the time is saying, hey, it's happening. Like all those wishes that you wish at night for yourself and, and those prayers. It's, we hear you. We're, we want to answer you. But you're playing on the 3D. You're playing a different game that doesn't show maybe that you trust the energy of source. And I feel like especially like source. Pile number two, you are so freakingly... Ugh, like supported. I feel a team of angels and, and like really just surrounded by beings that want you to manifest this. And time as a master, because as a master teacher, you say, okay, you want to manifest this, whether it's relationship or not, something that is dear to your heart, we got to close those, those half fast things. Okay. Oh. Yo, like what? Nine of Cups, Nine of Cups. Okay? So that is interesting because it came reverse. And I told you, like, this is about you having the strength to recognize that this is something that there's an offer, maybe that you a door that you're leaving open. Maybe I really feel more relationship here, but I would say if I had to think about, if I had to think about work, is for some of you that are staying in a job and are saying that you want something else and you're not allowing yourself to look into other places where you would be more fulfilled. And it feels like being half in it, if your heart is half in it or the other people involved are half in it with you, this is... It's going to split further and further. So we're here to actually see that there is a better offer. Some of you, if it's about job and money, it's there. But that is going to, I'm not saying quit your job or whatever, but it's saying like trust that what you're claiming is coming and trust that the more you maybe also realize that what you manifest in your work is also what you manifest in your relationship. That's also what you manifest in even your health, I'm saying for some of you. Like even like some of you, if you are not able to keep a routine or commit to a certain goal, 
about your health. And that doesn't mean like you're losing weight or what. It could be like, I want to be strong or I want to learn yoga. I want to learn this. Or some of you could be a craft, a hobby. I want to learn something and you're not doing it. This is what time is saying. Commitment. And that means that if you have romantically some half-assed committed people around you, where you're going to keep on being half like split. And that, that is an energy drain. And the new universe is, is reaching you, has, has allowed you to find this message because it does so want for you to have it. And just almost like rele- release the resistance of the known. Because that, that, fe- that, that I, it's, Tommy's saying it is like, I understand. It's familiar. It feels safe. But there's so much greater. And it's not like, oh, you're, you're looking elsewhere because the grass is greener. No, 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 no. This is, an in, this, this is almost like your inner garden. You have inside of you all already the answers towards manifesting on the outside everything that you want. So that means like you need to commit to yourself for more nurturing, for more of uh, respecting some of your rules, just like my little story with the relationship rules. You guys, I still have this picture. Sometimes when I do one-on-one consultations, I recently had shared my little (laughs) love relationship rules. And my soul partner... When he, we started dating and he came to my apartment, he saw it on my wall. And what he did was amazing. He actually read it and acknowledged it. And he just went and took a pen and added another rule. And I thought like, wow, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Okay, so I wanted to share this with you. Let's see what other messages. Dear Time, give us some other messages uh, maybe of support. We're going to talk about frequency healing. You guys, you know, on my channel. And if you don't know, you're going to hear it. Uh, I do offer uh, some a library and playlists of multiple uh, frequencies to support you to change some of those um, difficulties. Okay? Because I created them because I needed them. And as a very strong empath and someone that has high, high sensitivity, I respond to sound super magically, which is a great thing because it helps me move energy so much faster. And I feel as some of you with what we saw with the water and the fire is um, really on point here. You're, you're learning how to uh, work with energy and sometimes energies that can be in opposition and learning how to commit to what feels true to you. Okay. Even if it's sometimes it's um, oppositions. Wow. Like, I, like some of you, I, I'm like, I, time is very, very particular. Choice. This is the fool card. This is a, pre- so some of you, if you're watching this and this message caught you, you, this is an important time in your life to make a choice to commit to yourself. You see, there's three doors here. And each has a different outcome. I'm not hearing anything else. Let's see. The father. That's usually when I get the emperor. And especially here, I'm like looking at this wand that looks like a sun. I feel like... This is usually my sword, like the God energy. Obviously, we have God and goddess energy, God source, goddess source energy. Um, but this is something about protection. This is about knowing that spirit has your back. That even if you didn't, you know... We sometimes make choices and sometimes we repeat and sometimes, you know, maybe you're going to have a conversation with your boss, your, this person, and they're going to be like, yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's commit. And then maybe it falls apart. Like, it's almost like saying, like, it does not matter if it doesn't work out exactly how you want. Know that what you need to commit to is the principles of what you want. 
And then everything is going to unfold as it's meant to for you to harness that power. And the power that I'm feeling that you're harnessing, that time is, is sharing with you, is authenticity. Because authenticity is actually a frequency that's higher on the scale um, to love. It's higher. And that means that if you're trying to manifest love or just loving your life, loving your work, loving every aspect of this, you need to be authentic. And that's going to look, you know, with the, you know, whatever journey and path and, and challenges, but how to be in authenticity is committing to the feels that feel right to us. Okay, let's see if we have another message here for you, dear pile number two, acceptance. I overcome my biggest challenges by accepting what is. Some of you, they might have been a hard time to let go. So this is perfect um, because I don't have it in my pile. I forgot. It's just very recent. But I released the uh, frequency called Surrender is the Portal. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, I love this for you. Surrender is the Portal. Use this. Use this to help you. And I also worked, and I'm going to be releasing it in my vibrational pharmacy. I'm working on uh, the anxiety. Okay, I already work with anger and irritability uh, together. So some of you, if there is any anger, you can also work with this with the pharmacy. And anxiety is coming up. It's been so powerful because sometimes in the process of surrendering, to the unknown because it's like yeah okay a time <laughs> master time um this is great uh, but when i close this i don't know what's coming i don't know i'm like i'm hearing yeah my wishes are going to manifest i'm supported i'm i'm guided but you know there's a lot of like echo in the body through past experiences so work with surrendering is the portal and when it's out the anxiety or even the, the pharmacy. I don't, I'm not going to pull cards, but that's going to be your, your, um, oh, I still want it. I, I saw it as a shadow. So I'm going to still mention it. Some of you, if you've had a lot to overcome, or if you have any type of abandonment issues, okay, that's why you're scared or rejection, uh, the psoas frequency healing, especially so as muscle, you know, surrounding, also allowing us to walk the hips and everything. This is very Sagittarius, allowing yourself to walk away, also to walk in your truth. Wow. I'm loving the messages for you, pile number two. This is, this is something that is much needed and that's going to support you so very much. So yeah, in my survival kit playlist actually i'm going to put the surrendering is your um is the portal in the survival kit all right you guys that's what i have for you if you need personal guidance personal support i do have an update on all my offers if you want to check it out you have access to my schedule now so that's you know easier for you to know when to expect your readings i'm sending you many blessings much love and light and don't forget to like those videos if they supported you Namaste. Pile number three with the six of earth about balance, about give and take. Mm. Let's see what time has in store for you. I do feel with this reaping energy <laughs> and the fruits that time and, and the key, there, there's like, there is this threshold, this, this, you're on the verge of receiving everything that you've been wanting. But also I'm hearing especially needing because, you know, fruits, they, they sustain us. So let's see what time has in store for you, pile number three. Be open. I am open to new possibilities and I welcome new beginnings. So it is like a, on the verge of. So I feel it's something, 
something unpredicted, something, and I, okay, some of you might even be working with your ancestors, something that maybe in, is not your usual cup of tea. Let's see. <laughs> All right, time. You're being mysterious here. Wow. Men holding a heart. Okay. Indecision. And the healer of the ages. <sighs> okay, there's many scenarios of how this can play out. This is a collective reading, so bear with me if that doesn't really resonate with your situation. I'm going to give a couple of examples here. Um, but I feel there's definitely, if you're single, there's someone coming for you. There's someone coming for you. There's, there's, okay, while I said this, it was interesting in the way it can apply to almost everyone. It feels like because of the masculine principle and the love principle, and the fact that this key is on the chest, okay, between the throat and the heart chakra. Now I'm feeling that some of you, you're manifesting a, an expression of love, of a relationship, but also how you express it in your own life. Maybe something you've never given yourself. There's something about how you self-love yourself and how it's going to ripple out in your relationships. And I would say for some of you, it might be especially romantic relationships, but there's some type of mirror effect. And it's almost like you're about to receive, Tom is saying you're about to receive an opportunity. I'm seeing like here the, almost like the gold, the, the, the sh sun shining on it. And it could be, I would say, through the summer or on a sunny day. You could meet that person for some of you, or it's just an opportunity. Or some of you, if you want to just tap into it. Look at this. There's a lot of heart. There's a lot of heart. If you've, if you've experienced attachment to a certain relationship that was not working out, there's an upgrade through the cosmic cosmos, through the cosmic waves, through whatever, whenever this message is reaching you, it might be the placement of Venus, it might be even Mars, it might be how it impacts your chart, it might, you know, it's like there's some type of activation. And I think this is why be open. And I was feeling the ancestors. There's like, there's something that is beyond the realm of the physicality that is working in your favor that time is saying. Okay. But there is here this indecision. Unknown and unknown. Both are unknown. And yet she's staring at almost like this dead tree. Mm. Maybe some of you, especially with the healer of the ages, what time is trying to say is that to remove maybe some of the fears of the unknown. Maybe some of you, it has to do with a relationship that has been, maybe it's time to move on. Or some of it again. It's it's very I'm um, almost like cautious about what I'm saying because I feel a very high sensitivity about this topic. Okay, so we're gonna pull more cards because it's almost like I feel like there's such a high sensitivity on the topic, or maybe some of you. It's like it's almost. Um, not wanting to talk about it, not wanting to be influenced. 
but I feel that there's something that time wants you to acknowledge, all right? Because it, there's something that's on the precipice of you manifesting something you really want. You know, those cards are next to each other. But there's something here that it seems that needs to be healed, whether that person is there or not. Whether you have maybe maybe some of you are not looking for a relationship. Maybe you're looking for a job you love. Or maybe you're looking for, um, you know, having more appreciation for yourself. So let's see what time. Time is saying also with what we channel about the cosmos is that there's an activation here that you're maybe going to receive through. I heard the nick of time. <laughs> Just weird. Okay, so but. Maybe some of you, there's a Nick, a Nicholas. I had to mention it just because I, it just felt weird <laughs> to hear this word, this expression. Okay, the five of pentacles. Okay, some of you, you're dealing with, with any type of rejection, abandonment issues here. And again, we're seeing the tree. You know, I did recently this meditation that was talking about, like, actually, I don't remember if there was a tree, but the way that the, when I listen to guided meditation, I kind of like go on to my own journey. But I remember journeying into my heart and my heart was a tree with a hole that I could just fall into and just deep dive. So some of you, if you're wanting to just like have this concept of this meditation that you can guide yourself through it. But I went into the tree and I remember that I could see my home. I could see my inner child. I also had seen in other meditation that my inner child was still locked in fear and was not playful anymore, was not, you know, having access to all its magic because of some of the things that I needed to heal. So I wanted to share just this little parenthesis um, because some of you, maybe there's something about heart healing. Venus, in terms of cosmos and energy and your chakra, is connected to your heart. So maybe there's some heart healing to address, Venus healing, Venus transit. Look at this. I mean, you can't make that up. The star. And the star. There's an activation. And some of you, okay, if you're watching this pile number three, I feel for you. I feel this is a, is a sensitive time. It's a sensitive time where maybe a lot has been, you know, brought up to the surface, okay? And you're going to receive healing. But what I'm seeing also, you have the devil card that came up with the star, okay? What I'm seeing here is that Whatever it was that captured you or froze you, you see here the snow, froze you in time. Oh, this is interesting. Some of you, it's almost like there may be, maybe an event from the past, maybe even a past relationship that you haven't fully healed and it's getting you stuck, frozen, okay, and not allowing you to go into any direction. There's knowledge, there is wisdom, there is light that you can shine on this relationship or this path. So some of you, you know, there, there is definitely some renewal of the heart, some heart healing if you pick pile number three. But I really felt like time was saying like, if you've been feeling chain, because there's still those chains, okay? And what I feel is that maybe some of you, it was about give and take. Maybe you were over giving in relationships. Maybe you were attracting narcissistic uh, relationships, okay? And there is a reason why it happened. There is a reason why. And some of you, if you're not even watching this for love, imagine just even in work, okay? Work, you see here, that could be a burden. That could be hard. Maybe some of you are feeling stuck to the nine to five. You're not finding your freedom. You're not finding your niche. You're not finding your self-expression. And it's the same path. 
There might have been something that broke your heart. It doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It could have been something that happened as a child. It could be with the friends uh, at school, with the teachers, even just your parents, your family, your cousins, whatever. And there's like this, this freeze. But there's something in the stars. So some of you, if you're watching this, I would say um, knowing about a transit, your chart would be highly uh, helpful at this time, knowing what's going on with your chart. Definitely. All right, let's get some more cards for you, pile number three. Time, dear master of time, how can we unlock this, 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 you know, it's almost like if you've ever experienced indecision, maybe some of you, you have even Libra in your chart, I'm hearing, uh, or it was with a Libra, or someone is Libra creating this, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Um, know that you will find your way. And it's, it's, it's actually not outside, it's through you. And that's where, you know, the guided meditation where, you know, going into, deep diving into your heart. So maybe meditating and we'll, we'll cover the meditation part, you guys. Okay, let's see what we have here. The four of earth. Yeah. You see here what I'm feeling is that there was some type of, it feels, it feels like an injustice. It feels like this person is carrying all the structure, all the weight, and it's hurting them. And no one is seeing this. So some of you, I would say that, you know, you're, maybe you're so used to being perceived the, the way you're perceived, you're not realizing how much it hurts you. Destiny. Oh, look at this. Wow. Wait a second. The crone. I felt the crone energy with here. Okay, so, okay, pie number three, this is an initiation. This is, this is not a fun initiation, okay, um, because it's like, it's like you have to review some of the things that hurt you so you can move from remove yourself from it. I feel as some of you, you might not even see or have full acknowledgement of the structure trapping you. And time is saying, you feeling this amount of pressure or indecision or not knowing what's your purpose, what's your destiny, is this person the one or where is my one person? Where is my niche? Where You know, everything that feels like destined and there's like where is it where is it where is it it's saying like it's in your heart it's through the way of how you treat yourself it's through the way whether you allow others to overtake abuse or mistreat and not standing up for yourself not especially i'm feeling here there was the lock here you see the keys on the heart. So your, your heart has the answer. But some of you, it could even lock your throat. You could even like feel like you, you can't speak. So this experience is actually initiation of a deeper love for yourself. And having to stop over giving it to others. When you do, time is saying you're opening a portal here. Look at this. This is, don't tell me this is not a portal. Of this energy here of the egg and the snake, the serpent, there's a rebirth. So everything that you've endured, everything that you had to surmount or experience that made you feel abandoned or rejected was a learning curve. <laughs> yes. Sorry, just... Tom is very adamant about this word, the curve. Maybe a learning curve for you to also learn in time, 
Okay, this is something that would take time and to be to be open to this not repeating itself. You see here, there's a new moon. As I'm channeling this, we just had like a, a solar eclipse. This is a timeless reading, but I can tell you like, this is the charge, the type of charge. So if you're watching this in whatever timeline <laughs> or direction of time, um, watch if you don't have any type of uh, solar eclipse uh, or portal energy um, that is coming up. Um, as this is, this will be relevant. This energy shows that the more you pra practice and nourish and nurture self love in all aspects of your life, starting with you, starting with honoring what you like and don't like, and not having to build a thicker skin, but just honoring your softness, honoring your vulnerability, your empathy, your compassion. You will also learn how to say no to certain situations that overburden you and where you might be just the only one carrying this. Okay. There's more. Oh, well, I mean, yo, like what? Destiny. My dreams show me that I am the co-creator of my life and destiny. I feel that some of you, like there is such a precious, I think it was like an inner strength. Some of you working with boundaries was super important. Working with boundaries is Aries, okay? Aries and the Zodiac is the archetype of the gatekeeper and the grid worker. It works with the field, the playground of creation. And that means that if you've ever felt like this, your ground for creation gets almost frozen and you're, you're almost like stuck in time and just things just go and there's no change. But there's a lot of change that is offered to you and there's a specific portal destined for you. And look at this. I attract a loving, happy, fulfilling relationship into my life. I, some of you, it's, it, it, again, we're going back to everything that you love. That means friends that you love, family that you love, job that you love, house that you love, soul partner that you love. But that... That process of having to build strong boundaries in alignment with your authenticity, your authentic self, and being open to, I feel for you, being open to change because you were so used to a certain daily bread, okay? That if you're watching this and it's a little bit chaotic, because it could feel chaotic, this is in the sky. This is like, this is a transition in um, your star alignment, definitely. I can feel that for you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see in terms of frequency. Um, I do feel that some of you, if you have a lot of fears, you might want to work with surrendering is the portal. Definitely something I created for the solar eclipse. And let's see if there's something else. Wow, I mean, you can't, you can't make that up. Prevent psychic manipulation. Super empath playlist. I work there with anger, ignorance, laziness, and grief. Okay, psychic manipulation. I'm telling you, working with boundaries is super important. I wouldn't be surprised a lot of you that are empath, wanting to become super empath. That means bringing this gift of empathy into... Um, you know, becoming a superpower is going to be part of your destiny because this is what's going to keep that timeline for you. This is what time is saying and allow also the field for this reality to emerge. Okay. Wow. That was really deep pile number three. I think like I have to give it to you. You, you have a lot of wisdom. You had to walk you know, a path of duality, of, of pain, 
of, you know, or, or, or it's been a long time coming and, and you're on the brinks, brinks, yes, <laughs> sorry, this is not my first language, um, but yeah, I feel it for you, I love this for you, so you have in the survival kit playlist, my empath survival kit surrendering is the portal and you have in the super empath, prevent psychic manipulation would be great working with boundaries. That's what I have for you. If you need support and guidance, please check out my links. I've upgraded it. You can um, see my schedule now and see my availability so you'll know when to receive your message. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Pile number four with the queen of fire. Let's see what time has for you. I feel like this is a vision. There's a vision. Maybe time wants to suggest a vision for you. Or maybe just working with imagining vision, because I heard vision board. I'm already going to start with this little exercise for you. Because we're living more and more in a digital world. And this is something I did last year for myself. And <laughs> I was amazed when I opened my little file. So on my computer, I have this little file. So, um, yeah, folder. And I put vision on it. And I went and looked at all the pictures, just like you would for a vision board. Would call me, you know, would call my attention and call like... Yeah, I would like this. I would love to experience this, this vision, this place, whatever. So I just took the images, bunch of images, and put them in the file. And my way to manifest was like, okay, God, higher power, your source, whatever you want to call it. You see all this. Just, you know, kind of like, let the magic work. And I personally love this, how the universe has taught me how to work with being focused and unfocused at the same time. Because it's almost like you're putting all the sauce in the element and you're just releasing really to God, to source, and just say like, yeah, that's, I like that. I love that in my life. That feels good when I look at it. And I don't, I'm not attached to how it's going to like be coherent because my, my mind can only foresee a certain landscape. And I feel this is, this is why it's almost like Pile number four, there's a call for a higher vision that time is trying to teach you. And maybe this little exercise can be supportive. <laughs> okay, I trust. If you like this little thing, just let me know in the comment. I would appreciate it. I love it. And if you ever, you know, give that little exercise to someone, just, you know, mention it. Mention that I um, give that to you because it just is something that just speaks to my mind like when I received this it was like a teaching it was like showed me like Audrey you don't have to make sense of it just put it in a little dock and just like almost like in a pot you know and just let the magic work now it says here let go I release the old and embrace the new I grow into my very best self that's interesting to go with this because I feel some of you, if you already work with some of those principles or vision boards or whatever, I would say like maybe it's time to review them, like go back into your files or go back into your vision board, go back into your journal and upgrade because it's almost like certain things like there's a version of you that is so much greater that is that time is saying, hey, we're ready for that version. We got to make sure that maybe some of the things we wanted, maybe there was attachment. Let me just say, for example, I had to realize at some point that, you know, the attachment to just have like a certain amount of money in the bank was more rooted in a fear for my security and my stability when really my life has had a lot of security and stability since I've been doing a lot of my inner work and collective work and all that I've been doing for years now. So it was showing me, like, are you attached to this? Or are you just, a, like, is this stability that you're looking for? So just ask for stability. Just ask for security. Just let the universe manifest how it looks like. 
or what amount it is or whatever because it's almost like <laughs> you're always going to play too small <laughs> okay so i feel this is there's some teaching with time here about uh, i wouldn't say law of attraction more but like success mindset that i'm feeling for you maybe there's some ways to relate to yourself and your success that time is saying it's time to let go okay because you're you were playing too small okay envy mm, interesting almost like this is almost like always just better there you know it's almost like where you're at is not enough okay so that i love that how everything is kind of like tied into it because it's saying like everything that you have especially with the queen of wands this is a queen that is full of inspiration that just radiates that glows that it's full of enthusiasm positivity she's the gold you see this person is outside thinking the gold is this castle and garden but she's lost all her spark you know she's just in the shadow so i feel like all that i share with you has some resonance with this so let's see what else storm warning again i think <laughs> the universe saying like just make sure um that you're removing some of the attachment out of fear ego maybe also i'm hearing comparison competition maybe some of you it's like you're trying to prove something and time is saying hey i got i got a vision i got something for you that is so much greater than the past way of even manifesting. I feel like, yeah, we're getting a manifestation course here. Ooh, the world. The world is your oyster. You're being called, yeah, to think big, but it's almost like, how can we think so big when we don't have yet the vision and when we're still attached to certain things? Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, well, I'm not, uh, honestly, I am not surprised by this course in manifestation. Four chakra, Archangel Raphael. Okay, so we're going back to just the little example that I gave you as far as, you know, putting into a folder or a vision everything you just love. Okay, forget about the price. Forget about if it's attainable, achievable, things that your eyes uh, can see and sparks something in your heart acknowledge it so for me it was very interesting i'm going to give you another little example i put little a little kitten kitten and a little puppy and i was like i was traveling a lot and it was like it's impossible for me to still have those both I'm traveling with my cat and obviously my soul partner. And I was like, how am I going to have a dog? It's not, it's not going to. And I manifested just being surrounded with pets and, and having also, you know, dogs. They're not my dog, but they're there and they're part of my life. So I was like, how magical. Like when I opened back my file, I was like, oh, I made that wish. But I, you know, it's like a part of me was like, but you, Audrey, you knew it wasn't viable at the time. And what did it show me? It was not viable the way that my mind was conceivable, conceiving it. I have been living a really mag magical life, um, you know, working with this type of principles. And I'm hoping it's helping you. I'm, I'm putting this here, okay? Because I feel this is what time wants to talk about that we need to let go, Okay. Because there's a different world where everything that you want to manifest that is dear to your heart, that is awaiting. Okay. Interesting. Wow. I love the emperor. There's some confidence, but there is also, the, we'll see. You, this is interesting because there's a new vision. But a new vision that requires you to have confidence in your abilities. Your abilities, not looking at what others do, what others have, okay? Oh, the Five of Pentacles came in uh, pile number three, if that's something that 
uh maybe you hesitated maybe there's a message there there was a lot it was very deep there and then we have the chariot chariot i you know what it's so interesting pile number four because it seems that everything you need to manifest a reality of this world that is aligned with all of your desires from the small to the big okay is just there and waiting for you but it's not waiting out there it's waiting in there and i feel that there's some um, deep diving especially about how you relate to your self-worth Okay, I would say if you go and decide to listen to pile number three, there was more about love. Here I feel worth and abilities. There's something, maybe some of you, you're, as you're watching this, time is saying, listen, it's time to get, to, to get serious about your own abilities. Maybe like you like a certain uh, thing about someone. Okay, let's say, for example, you go and scroll uh, on Instagram and you're seeing someone playing a flute, okay? <laughs> I don't know where that came up, okay? And she's like wearing this beautiful garment, whatever. It's magical and makes you feel so happy. And you're like, wow, I've always wanted to play the flute. It's almost like something that echoes and it's just in your heart. Or it's the way that person, maybe she has an offer or, the, or it's a he, I don't know. Um, but just follow your heart it's like follow and when you see for example the, the desire to learn the flute or whatever this person has to offer go and 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 learn go and learn what you may feel is outside of you because in the process of surrendering to your love to the things you love and to the things you admire you'll realize that it's because they are inside of you Maybe there was always a flutist inside of you. And maybe it's not. And maybe you'll try and you'll realize it was not about the flute. I just needed to connect it with the person. Maybe there was something behind this. Or I maybe it was just a test for me to dare doing something new. Okay? So there's something about fearlessness that I feel for you that wants to be sparked. But everything is already inside. Okay? Let's get some more guidance um, dear master of time, dear time, what does time, um, time, I would like to ask, like, okay, it's nice and all, <laughs> how are we supposed to do this, like, give us some guidance, some steps, I mean, if you're watching this channel, and some of you know me, or you don't know me yet, I do work with frequency healing, and this is how I've managed a lot of my manifestation and shift in my life, because I'm hypersensitive, I knew this was coming for you. And meditation and working my chakra, working with my kundalini energy, working with sound, working with mantras, working with mudras has been helping. So it's saying here, um, there might be, especially, this is interesting, it's the first time that I see it, that the snake is surrounding the solar. Some of you, there's, there's something... Um, it could be an ego protection, okay? It could be an attachment to, to what you want in a certain expression and way of it looking like this, okay? And the universe says, release your attachment. It's may, some of you may consume more of your energy, just like her, instead of shining like the queen of wands, she's just shriveled and she's gray. Um, she's lost her colors. Um, you're being called to release any attachment or feeling that maybe you're not good enough, you're not worthy, you're not deserving, you don't have what it takes, you do. Because the things that you desire from a hard point, it's because the universe has put them in you. There's a resonance, you see, when you're looking at it in the outside world, and you're feeling this maybe envy, or just like, it's because a thing is calling you that is there, and just don't be fooled by what you're seeing, and it might not be just what your eyes see, it might be just the energy. 
what we're all teaching honestly is to live in authenticity. So for me, I know that when I show up, I want to make sure that I am authentic, that when I show up, I, I'm, I'm loving what I do and I, I cherish what I do. I commit a lot of the messages for time, I would say for this whole session that I've been spending here with time is about commitment to your heart, is about commitment to your self-love, is about commitment to your abilities, is about allowing you to step into this version, but the version is in you. Okay, it's in your pile number four. Trust it's in you. It's not outside of you. Trust that what you see outside that may spark some desire, it's because there's something there that you see that you already have and wants to, bl to bloom. Maybe, just, maybe you will have to learn. Maybe you will have to learn. And sometimes learning is not exactly by the craft. Sometimes, you know, you'll be called to learn different, different, different things and then they'll be all put together in a very unique way. It's, this is where I feel like some of you, there might be some attachment on how to manifest, on how to be successful. And time is saying, hey, it's almost like no matter which direction you're going, this is not going away. This has always been in there. This has always been in your heart. The world has always been your oyster. And yeah, there's some change in it and you have to learn certain things, but it's always been there and it needed, it needed you to be ready. And listening to this, you're ready. You're getting ready for it. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, I love this. You're in a transition. You're in transition. You're listening to this. Time is saying, while you're sleeping, I move from the old to the new with great ease. I love this. I know what I'm going to give you for a frequency. I don't need my cards here. Work with the subconscious mind. Work with the subconscious mind. It's, um, it's a frequency that helps you go into the layers, the multi-layers of yourself. And maybe there's certain things that you'll discover about yourself certain things about, you know, the different layers of why maybe there's certain reactions to your outside world, maybe why you feel you can't have it, and why, why you almost separate. So I'm going to give you the subconscious mind for sleeping. It's over two hours. It's great. It's peaceful. And I would say you can also add, that works also for sleeping, but if you want to meditate with it, use the law of attraction and sacred union. It uses Om Mani Padme Hum, which is a great, great purifying of any kind of ego attachment and, 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 and you know, like holding on too much. You have those two. And if you want it also, it's been coming up for a few piles. Uh, surrendering is the portal. Okay. Surrendering is the portal. And um, that's that. That's what I have for you. I just, I just... I just love this for you because it's almost like you don't have to go anywhere. It's in you. Work on yourself. Face the trigger. Face the things that, you know, it's like, oh, I would love to have this. Oh, I would love to create something like this. That person is a messenger that it's possible. So just look at it with detachment and just make sure that maybe you put it in your vision board. Make sure that you put it in your little vision folder. Okay, and just leave it to the universe and time. Time just knows how to work its magic around it. Okay, that's what I have for you, pile number four. If you need personal guidance and support, you can check out my links. I've upgraded them. So I'm looking forward to connecting with some of you. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Namaste. <laughs>